uh, everything's hurricane resistant. So the glass mm. is probably right. extra thick, extra stiff glass too. Yeah. yeah. I know it's, it's double layers of laminated glass or something like that. So it's like, you know, worse than normal there. So the modes are like as bad as it gets. And I, I had actually wondered early on, everything had to get hidden, but like, what if I did in wall subs, but I, instead of doing like a couple in the corners or something, what if I did an array in the front? And I even kind of wonder, I mean, the main benefit of the subarray in the back is to cancel the length mode. It's not uncommon to be able to handle the length mode through EQ alone, because often it's like just a peak. If it's a dip, that's then you're kind of in trouble. But if you just got, if you're down to like the... But but your room's not rectangular, right? It's... It actually is rectangular, but the living room is just a portion of it. So it's oh, like okay. a shoebox ah, okay. so wide it's... instead of long gotcha, and gotcha. the but, rest but of it. The interesting it question... Open. Like if we're talking about double base arrays, then an interesting question would be if you, you know, in a rectangular room, you can, you can put the subs at, like if there's two on each end, you put them quarter of the way in, I think, and, yep. and in the middle, height wise in the middle. And, and you could estimate the delay using a tape measure or something. And yeah, you could it's roughly an easy thing set to it do. Up. It's better if you measure it. 